All right, so every once in a while, you're gonna to wanna to change your models. So when you change a model in the code, it's really easy to do, but that often makes a lot of issues in, in the database itself, where if you knew SQL and you could do SQL commands, you could change it on your own, you could do it manually, or what we could do is use a third-party package called South. Now, in order for us to use South, we first have to install South, and then we have to convert our entire app to South, and then we have to run um, migrations for South. Uh, so we'll do all that in this one, just, just so you want, if you ever wanna make any changes, you can. All right, so what we'll do now is we're gonna open up our settings file. So in here, we wanna install South under installed apps, but that of course means that we actually need to install it uh, with Python with the pip installer. So Python package installer. So let's close out the server here. And I'll do pip install South. So that is the Python package or the Python package of South. It is made for Django and it's specifically so we can change our database to match uh, any changes in our models. And South is very useful after the data or after the model is already installed. So now that we have installed apps here, we go and just do South. I can actually put this above joins. All right. And then I'll do python manage.py sync db. This is to ensure that south is installed. I already know it's installed. I mean, you see migration history here. You also see south is synced. And then you notice that there's this new thing said not synced. Now this is what south manages. So anything that's not synced is managed by south and we can run migrate with them. So to make our app or any app for that matter, our app joins, if, if we want to make it managed by South, it's very easy. Since it's already synced with the database, we can do it this method. If it's not synced to the database already, we would want to install it, sync it to the database, and then do what we're about to do, which is Python manage.py convert to South joins. So convert to South is converting the app to be managed by South. That's it. So then now we can run migrations on it. It actually didn't do anything. It just made some history and initial migrations. Now what it's doing, if you scroll down, it says it assumes the application's models match the database. So all I'm saying here is it's assuming that when we ran SyncDB, it actually installed the tables like we've seen, and there's no errors. If there's errors and stuff like that, you might have to just delete the all the migrations folder and also the database itself. So let's actually see what I mean by that. Um, if I open up our project, we go to desktop and launch with code source. So if you run into errors with South or SyncDB, all we're gonna do here is inside of, we're gonna delete this database. So I'm just gonna delete this. This is the easiest way to do it. There's other ways to do it, but this is the easiest way and most painless. And then I'm gonna delete this migrations folder those are both deleted now. And if I do python manage.py syncdb again, it's starting from scratch. However, it's creating the table for south this time, and it's also creating joins that underscore join. Now, this is a good method when you're working locally. Like if you do this on your production server, you're gonna lose all of the data that was stored in that database if you do what I just did. So it's better to get it right when you're working on a local server versus when you try and bring it to your live server. So I'm gonna create a super user, say yes, uh, jmitchell3, email address, coding for entrepreneurs at gmail.com, basic password, one, two, three. So all I did there was sync the database again, and now everything's working, but if we notice, joins is back in synced, it's not in not synced. So we would do python manage.py convert to self. Oop, and then I have to put a name for the app there. So again, it converts it. And now if I do a sync DB, it shows that what's synced. So this is standard Django syncing. And then south, what's managed by south, what's not synced, what's managed by south. So let's actually change joins, let's add something to it. Um, so I'm gonna open up my models.py inside of joins. And I'm gonna add a new field in here. I'm gonna call it IP address. 
and I'll do models dot char field and I'll do max length of 120 and default I'm just setting a default value for it I'm just gonna call it ABC okay so uh, IP address there's there is an IP address field but I'm using char field just for this purpose char field is a character field so all types of characters can go in there uh, but I'm going to just use IP address and then once we collect their IP address I will set this field to it and I'm setting a default because when we run our migration we need to either have a default value for everything that's already in the database right so let's think about this if you already had a hundred joins in the database and then you added a new field in there there's going to be this empty field for IP address so you have to set a default for those values so that the all the ones that the, all the hundred that were in there you would set a default for that or what you could do is instead of default you could do null equals to true or blank equals to true in this case I wouldn't recommend doing this because we definitely want to have an IP address so in this case I'll just do default I'll definitely want to have a default because if I see that that it's their IP address is ABC um, as it starts then I can collect it maybe later and re change what ABC is uh, down the line right so that's where we want to make sure that there's definitely going to be a value here all right so all I did now was change something about join so I can actually run a migration for it so what you do is python manage.py and we're going to do a schema migration and it's going to be joins and then dash dash auto so this dash dash auto all that is just handling everything for us just automatically doing it there's other commands for it, but I use auto all the time, especially if you're doing it correctly. And what you notice here is it says added field IP address on join the join. So that's basically what it's saying for uh, what, what it's going to be doing to the database. And it created a new file here. And this file is in the migrations folder now. So if we look in the migrations folder, it's right here, right? So that's it. That's the actual file for it. Um, and this is the code that's going to be ran to run the migration and basically change the database. Um, and this also provides us with a subtle version history of all the changes we've made. So if we've made a bunch of changes, we can see that it's automatically adding, you know, basically these changes for us, which is something that's nice about migrations as well. So you can go back and see old code and stuff like that if you ever need to. Now, you might not do this a whole lot, but it's okay, but it's good to know that it actually exists and it's there. All right, so now that we did this schema migration, now we have to run migrate to actually make the changes happen. So I do python manage.py migrate. You could do migrate joins or just migrate. Migrate will migrate all the apps that need to be migrated, where migrate joins will just migrate the join app, right? So if you had 10 apps, and they all, and you did this on all 10 of them, running one migrate will migrate all of them. That's all. Okay, so now we did this. We added this new field. So let's go python manage.py run server. And let's look into our admin. Oh, J Mitchell 3, 1, 2, 3, sign in. We go into joins, click add join. And we see now IP address. Notice that default is actually coming through. So there's the default value is going to be there. And then we have that email address just like what we've seen before. So that's it. That's running migrations. Um, if this is confusing at all, what I would suggest that you do is make a few more apps. And they could be the exact same content. But if you just have a few more apps and you ran what we went through at the beginning or through this whole thing, if you ran it, then that would work out really well and it would help you kind of understand it. So I'll just write a little note here so uh, so you guys can actually know about it. Step one is first you have to install uh, south. So pip in, uh, install south and then add south to settings.py in installed apps. And then step two ensure a um, your model is is in the database in as in synced 
in the database. Okay, so that's step two. And then step three would be uh, convert the model to self. Convert the model to self with Python manage.py schema migration and, uh, or sorry, not schema migration, but convert to south and then app name. And then step four, make changes to model. Five, and then, um, so like, eg add new fields. Okay, so add new fields and then run schema migration with python manage.py schema migration app name auto. And last but not least, run migrate python manage.py migrate. Cool. So that's that. Um, one last thing I'm going to note is, oops, this should be number six. One thing, last thing I'll note is in Django version 1.7, all of this stuff is kind of in, south is basically inside of 1.7. So realistically, what you would do is you'd make a change and then just run migrate. It's kind of cool about 1.7. Now, once the production version's available, uh, I would suggest maybe trying out a separate project from this one so you don't jumble the code here. You could even copy all the code and make it into a new virtual environment and do all that. Uh, but I would suggest doing a separate project and actually trying to run Migrate and playing around with that a little bit. We do also have a video called Try Django 1.7 on codingforentrepreneurs.com, which handles a lot of that stuff. Okay, but that's it. So that's how we can change our database and also our models so they are related. What I just showed you is super, super useful when it comes to building a project because the things you learn, you start to learn more about what you want or what you need for any particular item. And this is a way that you can do that. All right, so we will see you guys in the next one.